So we're really excited to share with all of you a brand new Cohesity service, which we call Data Govern. Data Govern gives you the ability to do identification of sensitive information, to be able to address the compliance risk in your environment by setting up those policies, or what we call shields, and then being able to detect those events and ultimately remediate them. And I'd love for you to see a demo, so I'm gonna bring Doug Coe on stage to show you Data Govern. All right, thanks Matt. So let's go ahead and go back to our customer, next-gen attorneys, and look at their data governance concerns. First, as a law firm, they have very strict client and attorney confidentiality rules. So data isn't shared widely across the organization, but rather only with the team members that are working on a specific client case. Now, because of that, it makes it very difficult for NextGen to determine who has access to what and where all that sensitive information resides. And because of that, they're really concerned about unauthorized access. Whether it's an internal source, like a lawyer looking to jump ship and taking files with them, or an external threat like ransomware looking to exfiltrate that data. All right, so let's go take a look at how Cohesity Data Govern can help in this situation. All right, so here we are on the Data Governing Policy screen, and you see some common policies for regulations that many of you need to abide by, whether it be GDPR, HIPAA, and in this case, we're interested in the US Personal Identifiable Information, or PII. Clicking into this, you'll see we're matching for various patterns like your name, phone number, address, and other personal information. All right, I'm gonna close this off and let it run in the background and continue to identify classified information. I'm gonna change gears now and put on my hat as a next-gen attorney employee. I'm gonna log in as William C. into his OneDrive account. And what you see here is various client files that William has access to. Now, unbeknownst, to the next gen team, William is looking to jump ship to a different firm and take some information with him. In particular, since he's going to a firm that specializes in the energy sector, he's going into the Icarus Power Files and he's going to download some information here. As well, he's going to go ahead and share this information to outside source. And that's the thing with cloud and SaaS applications. It's very easy to use but it's also very easy to misuse and abuse. And that's no laughing matter. Let's go ahead and take a look at the file itself and some of the information within there. Now, looking at this file, you see not only is there confidential sales information, but there's also information around phone numbers, addresses, and names of the end clients of Icarus Power. So this is definitely information you don't want to get in the wrong hands. All right, let's switch back to my IT hat and take a look at what Data Govern is doing about this situation. I'm gonna to switch to the dashboard here, and what you see are some of the top incidents that we're monitoring. We're also monitoring users and their behaviors and the risk profile that's associated with them. Also, we're looking at the data sources and again, the risks that they might be involved in. Now, if I give this one sec, ah, there you go. You should have seen there on the right of the screen, and you saw the risk go up, uh, score go up, as well as it turn red. And this is really flagging one of our shields. And our shields are basically our ability to monitor that sensitive data that we just classified and match it with anomalous and risky behaviors that various users might be doing. And that's exactly what we did here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first shield. The wide access shield here, the most concerning item are the blue bars. And that really signifies right here on the bottom, sensitive data being shared externally. Taking a look here, you'll see exactly that file that William shared, the Q2 sales transaction. We were able to detect this nearly immediately. All right, maybe William did this by mistake. Let's go ahead and take a look at what other activities we were able to pick up. Here in the insider threat shield, you also see that William had some suspicious and anomalous logins outside of his normal behavior. So that was flagged in the chart up top here. And then in the bottom chart, you see we're also flagging abnormal and anomalous operations. 
And this could be from anywhere from going in and modifying files that you're not supposed to, to downloading sensitive information. So let's go ahead, take a look the, at the last incident here. And indeed, Cohesity Data Governor was able to pick up the download of that sensitive information that William just did. All right, so what did we just see here? Well, with Cohesity Data Govern, we're able to identify sensitive information, such as PII, very easily and accurately. Number two, we're able to detect unusual and risky behaviors, such as sharing or downloading of sensitive data. And because of this, and all the forensic information we're able to provide, that's gonna allow you to respond and remediate the situation as quickly as possible. And in this case, you probably wanna lock down William's account and have a quick chat with him.